This video is to help with year eight in their human body home learning and also year nine in their B4 home learning. So we're looking at how does heart rate change with exercise and what can it tell us about fitness. Now we're just gonna do this practical to get the results at home, collecting results from yourself and from a friend, and then we will process the data and talk about um, why these changes occur and what it means when we're back in school. If you have a Fitbit or a similar device, you can use this in the practical to find your pulse rate. If not, you're gonna find your pulse in your wrist or in your neck, or you can, failing that, you can hold your heart. Count the beats for 30 seconds, multiply that by two, and then you'll get your heart rate in beats per minute to put into the table here. So we're gonna sit down for a few minutes. We're at home now. We're gonna sit down for a few minutes and allow our heart rate to drop to its resting pulse. Like I said, if you've got some kind of tracking device, it will tell you what your resting pulse is and you're more than welcome to put that into your table. If not, just sit yourself down, relax yourself and get your resting pulse. You'll need to pause the video now while you do this. Hopefully now you've got your resting pulse and we're going to star jump for two whole minutes. Now you might find this quite difficult, so pace yourself, but it's important that you're doing the same activity as the person you're going to compare your heart rate to uh, for the same amount of time, okay? Another way of doing this is we could run on a treadmill with this at set at the same speed for the same amount of time. And then we've got comparable results. We're able to fairly compare our results to a friend. So we're gonna do uh, two minutes of star jumps straight after you've done that. So you'll need to measure that using a clock or a stopwatch or your phone. You'll then put your heart rate into this box here. Okay, so you might want to pause and do that now. Now, as soon as you finish that exercise, you should have recorded your pulse rate, doing the same process or finding your pulse, counting for 30 seconds and then multiplying by two. And obviously 30 seconds has now passed, so 30 seconds later will be a minute after the exercise was stopped, so you'll find your pulse again. You must be sitting down at this point. Okay, uh, find your pulse again, measuring for 30 seconds, multiply by two, write it down, and then 30 seconds after that will be two minutes after exercise, repeat, repeat the process, and then again, three minutes after exercise. But it's important that once you've counted for 30 seconds, it's only 30 seconds later that you're doing your next count. Okay, once you've got your set of results, get some results from a friend. It could be somebody at home who also does this with you. It could be that you uh, send a message to a friend with a picture of your results and swap results that way. Like I said, we'll be doing graph drawing and processing of data at school. So that's all you need to do for this home learning. Hope you had fun with that. Thank you.